what's going on people um where you been at mike where you been at mike where's the content what's going on you haven't uploaded in like two weeks you know some of you may be asking that very question some of you may not care and that's completely okay either way i'm here to tell you guys that i'm pretty much back making content again and just to give you guys i guess a quick channel update we're just gonna pretty much get right into it it's not like a conventional video so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab my phone but yeah i just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on pretty much in my life the channel going forward what are we gonna do because obviously i haven't made a video in like almost two weeks now or i think it might have been two weeks by now but either way that's all. So I do have some notes here because I, that's the only way I can stay organized these days. But definitely take some notes if you can. It makes it makes life a lot easier. First things first. So one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I haven't been uploading is actually because I just started my brand new job. I just talked about this job not too long. Well, I talked about the job over the past couple of videos, just saying, yeah, I got a new job. I never told you guys where it was at. And pretty much, if you guys want to know where it's at, cause I'm just gonna say it. Um, it's at Amazon. I'm actually under AWS, I'm actually a cloud analyst working for AWS. Pretty cool stuff, really cool job, really love it. Don't have any complaints to be completely honest, I really do love it, it's great. I'm in IT, if you guys didn't know, you know now. But that's pretty much it, that's why I haven't really been posting a lot because I've been so focused on honestly just trying to understand and learn as much as I can. And that's pretty big on me as far as my career and everything like that. In IT, obviously I do this as well, I do YouTube as well part time. And of course, if it was a full-time thing, that'd be great. But right now, it's just not. YouTube has never paid me that amount of money where I can just do this full-time. Would love to. But honestly, I just like making the content for you guys regardless if I get paid or not. And it's like I said, it's not that much money anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Past that though, overall, the job thing has just been taking up a lot of my time, a lot of my focus. And I want to make sure I still have that balance for you guys because I like bringing the content to you. Past that though, we got new focuses. So I'm just doing these in topics pretty much. New focuses, pretty much here, uh, what am I saying? I'm pretty much saying like, I just wanna make sure I'm making the right content that I feel as though is right for you guys as far as just making good personal finance content and also making good content where I, I feel satisfied with. Like overall, lately, over the past, I'll say a month, maybe two months, I feel like a lot of my personal finance content and honestly, personal finance content in general is pretty repetitive. So. When it's repetitive, you tend to get bored making it unless you're coming up with some crazy ideas and all that kind of stuff. And I've seen other YouTubers out here and I, I give them all the props for it because it takes a lot of time and effort to come up with cool ideas to talk about and make it interesting to people for them to sit down and watch a video for over 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever, even two minutes, you know? But for me, I have a lot of focusing going on over different places in my life. So pretty much I'm not thinking as much about all these different crazy ideas I can come up with to make a, pretty much make a video. But Nonetheless, I got tons of content, still tons of videos, still tons of notes ready to go either way. But I still want to make this video regardless. But yeah, I'm saying a lot of but. I'm just like I said, we're just getting this all all the chest because this is just what it is. Past that, today's my birthday, October 27th. Today is my birthday, so you know if you want to drop a happy birthday down in the comment section, really appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for that. And honestly, just thank I thank you just for watching the video. Pretty sure a lot of people aren't gonna watch this video. That's perfectly fine. It's okay. Thank you. Either way, past that, <laughs> you know, there's this thing of, this is the next topic, by the way. There's this thing that people always talk about, this whole idea of seasonal depression, you know, and honestly, I, I think it's legit. I don't know if this always happens every single year to me, but around this time of year, usually around my birthday, I tend to just be a little bit more sad than normal, if that makes sense. And I'm not that type of person. I'm typically not sad almost ever. I'm pretty positive. Like if you see me or you know me in person, definitely. If you see me out in the street or wherever, definitely let me know. I'll take a picture with you. I'll do whatever. We up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad you're watching the content. But regardless, yeah, seasonal depression, I feel like it exists because like sometimes it's like, yo, like I just don't feel like doing anything and that's perfectly fine. Do not try to burn yourself out trying to do whatever, honestly, it's just not healthy. So, you know, too young for that, too old for that at whatever age, it doesn't matter. Just, just take your time, do what you got to do, chill, reset and go about your day. This is just, like I said, all off the top, all right here from the notes, I'm just going down the list of what pretty much life channel, whatever update. Either way, we got more content coming, like I mentioned. Past the seasonal depression idea, um, pretty much, and I'm moving my hands a lot, which I normally, I do that often, but whatever. Like I said, we're doing one take. Uh, past that, I'm not making any excuses. Like this isn't, and I hate that I even had to bring this up, but whatever. I'm not making any excuses. Me feeling that way, whatever. Like if you're upset that I'm not dropping content or drop, making content on any, pretty much any platform right now, if you're mad at that or whatever, I'm sorry. I'm honestly sorry, but it's really nothing else I can do about it. I don't feel 
up to par to make that content or at least i didn't over the past two weeks now i feel pretty good so you will see more content from me going forward but honestly it's just hard to feel bad and then sit in front of a camera and talk and just smile like you know and just smile like everything's okay because honestly it's just you know even if even if everything in your life is okay you still may feel like i just don't feel like doing anything today you know sometimes it's like that and that's like i said that's just pretty much how i felt so i'm not making any excuses you know what i'm saying i'm not doing this because you know i need you guys to feel pity for me anything like no i don't it doesn't matter none of that matters i'm just saying like the content could have been made but i just did not feel up to par so i didn't make the content it's just that simple past all that though ideas for the future this is the stuff that you actually care about if you're just trying to hear you're just here for the content either way ideas for the future so i have a couple ideas or mainly one particular idea that really just focuses around making content on a lot of different pl platforms on top of still making content here because i'm ne never stopping making content here but dollar mike in particular this channel will always be focused on making personal finance content for you to help you save money invest money live better credit cards all that kind of good stuff i just booked a trip we're going we're, you'll see it's gonna i'm gonna be a whole it's gonna be a whole vlog about it trip ticket over whatever amount four thousand dollar plane ticket for free so we're gonna talk about all this kind of stuff on the channel on this channel of course all personal finance stuff here nothing changes there but on top of that i still feel as though like i said it gets repetitive and it gets repetitive because it's pretty much just information you know like i said you can make personal finance content fun but it's not that fun and if you're not that interested into it that i'll try to get you into it but if you're just not interested into it at all then like i said it's, it's pretty boring you know but overall it's still okay because i like making money i like saving money i like investing my money so cool but everybody else isn't the same way so overall i'm still gonna be making content here nothing changes here but on top of that i think what i want to do or my idea is to pretty much split uh split my forces up when it comes to content so have content here have content on instagram feed with like um you know regular instagram posts and stuff like that it could be motivational stuff it could be informational stuff we'll find out it depends on how everything rolls out so definitely follow me on my dollar mike instagram page and then i'll also have reels up and those reels may be more fun or just more informational as well it just depends on how i feel during the day same thing goes for tiktok if you guys don't follow me on tiktok i haven't made a video on tiktok in a while now but honestly i do enjoy making the little tiktoks the little quick trends i think they're i think it's funny you know i think it's funny i, I i'm on tiktok not enough i actually i mean i'm on tiktok enough that's why i put a whole limit on that app so i can't go over like an hour on tiktok a day because honestly you it's sad, you know, you'll spend hours on TikTok and not remember a single thing that happened on there. But the point is, on TikTok as well, I'm already on there, so definitely follow me on there as well. And I'll be making the same type of content, pretty much personal finance content that can be more, more on the fun side of things and overall just more fun content where you see a little bit more of my personality if you're interested. If not, that's fine. Just stick around here. If you don't want to stick around here, either, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I can't hold you hostage, you know? Either way, that's that. And lastly, still, I like the long form content. I like creating content and honestly, I want to create more content than I did before. So in that avenue of it, I don't want to create more personal finance content, even though I will. I want to create more personal finance content plus more content for my second channel, which I started a while back. It was pretty much just vlogs at one point in time. I pretty much said it was just a, a um, what did I say it was? I just said it was like a lifestyle channel. So it pretty much is just a lifestyle channel. But overall, ever since I made the channel, I've uploaded like six or seven vlogs on there. And they've been pretty chill, whatever, cool, nothing wrong with them. But overall, I haven't posted on that channel in, I don't know, a couple months now. But the point is, there's still going to be vlogs on there. I also want to get into other stuff like gaming. So every now and then I might toss a gaming video on there. Who knows? I still want to get into other stuff like cooking. So, I mean, I cook, but like I want to make more cooking content because I think it's I think it's cool. So I might post that on there as well. So pretty much everything that's not personal finance that you could think that could possibly a lot possibly be a long form version of content will go on over on that second channel which is days with dollar mike if you're not subscribed definitely go ahead and check that out as well if you're interested if not that's all that's pretty much all i got um and of course like i said i'll still be posting content here like like i said nothing changes here at all you're gonna get still the regular videos and still the regular investing videos but on top of those regular investing videos we're gonna just try to branch out the content just a little bit more still all personal finance but just a little bit more to make it a little bit more interesting it's gonna be a little bit more work on my part because i'm doing everything the recording the editing the the note taking like i'm telling you i got it all right here notes wise i got it all on here and i got it all up here so the content is there got my board over there we're doing the thing 
it really just comes down to mood. That's honestly, for me personally, it just comes down to mood. If I'm not in a good mood or just in a mood to create content, it's honestly hard to like I said, sit in front of a camera, sit in front of a, sit in front of a camera and create content. So yeah, either way, that's really all I got. Like I said, thought it would be a little bit quicker than that, but it's all good to go. Either way, I, I don't really have anything else to say. Like I said, content's coming. Be ready for it. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. You know, I'm sure I'm not the only YouTuber that made it this far and felt a little bit burnt out, you know? So, and honestly, I'm really not burnt out. I'm just a little bit tired. Like, I'm not burnt out from making the content I make. So, yeah, we're back at it. So, let's get it. Let's finish the year out strong. We're in October 27th of 2022. November, December. Let's get it. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. Stay happy. Dollar Mike. Peace.